Hi, my name is Pastor Jerry Ingalls from First Baptist Church in Newcastle, Indiana, and we are on a journey together of studying the Bible one chapter at a time. I'm writing a short devotional thought on each chapter, and then I'm sharing that with you. Today, we're looking at 2 Corinthians chapter 4. Your life is intended to be a billboard in lights. What a beautiful image. Listen to 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 6 to 7. For God, who said, let light shine out of darkness, has shown in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. But we have this treasure in jars of clay to show that the surpassing power belongs to God and not to us. God's presence changes us. And by design, the mystery of God is made known through us because the Holy Spirit now dwells in you. That is amazing, mysterious, miraculous work. God has redeemed your life for an even greater purpose than you can imagine. He has redeemed you to put on display something more than yourself. What a mystery and what grace. This is the most liberating truth in the world. A balm to my soul. If I was the point of the story and my perfection were the point of the story, then what bondage I would experience as a Christian. But I am not the point. The point is the treasure that has been placed in me. <laughs> the pressure is not on us. The pressure is not on me to polish the outside of this vessel, this tent, this jar of clay. I'm not to whitewash it, nor am I supposed to cover up its cracks and its imperfections. I am to show the surpassing power that belongs to God that's been placed inside of my life by His grace, by the indwelling of the Spirit, for His glory simply stated, I am to be a billboard of God's glory. It's a humbling thought, but maybe, hang in there with me, maybe, God chose me and maybe God chose you so that other people would see us and think to themselves, <laughs> if God could save a wretch like that, then maybe he can save me too. Maybe, maybe our billboard is meant to attract other people to the fact that God can love imperfect people and save them and use them, seize the moment and shine the glory of God that has been given to you. God's precious gift has been given to you to be put on display for all to see. Not hoarded as your private ticket to heaven, but heralded as God's billboard of his presence in the world. Seize the moment.